hand-to-hand -hand combat allows a soldier to defend themselves in situations when military weaponry is unavailable. Alpha Company 369 Armor Team Leader, Army Sergeant Alexei Rodriguez, helps soldiers build confidence through combative techniques. For the first time doing a clean drill, anybody's going to be nervous about getting hit in the face. Get it in the body, anywhere. Keep your head up, keep your eyes on your target the whole time. Change your grip, change your grip, gable, gable, gable. The moment you think you're not going to be able to make it, the moment you drop that chin, you drop your eyes, that's when everything goes wrong. We teach them to keep your head up, keep your chin up, aim for, I tell them to aim for the rank. Easiest way to go, don't keep your face to the outside. First Brigade Combatives NCO, Army Staff Sergeant Dustin Armstrong's philosophy, tells us how combatives training helps win the fight on the battlefield, regardless of gender, soldier duties, or battlefield circumstances. This isn't just combatives. Combatives just isn't the mat. It's not just grappling, doing your punch drill. There, there's things that you can incorporate um, going through shoot houses, doing detainee searches, TCPs, ECPs, any kind of Basically, any training situation where your soldiers are going to be within an arm's reach of a foreign national. You don't know what the intent might be. There's other things that we can do. It's not just grappling. It's not just sterile ACUs in a circle in the field on Friday mornings or Thursday mornings. I mean, we can do stuff with houses. We still have vehicles. There, there's a lot you can really learn from this program and take away from it. I think very, a lot of people are very close-minded to it. They think it's a big fight club. And it's basically this, this UFC wannabe type, and it's not what it's about. That was never the intent of it. Um, I think over the years it's had a bad rap of people getting hurt. And the program has done a lot to still get the training done, but make it safer and make it more applicable to what units are doing real time across the world, um, regardless of where they're at. Reporting for First Armor Brigade, I'm Army Sergeant Dean Gannon.